focus. The seed is the word of God. One advantage of this year's unwelcome global lockdown of churches was the live streaming of daily mass from many places including the Vatican. From Lent onwards, I was blessed to be able to listen to mass and the word being broken by various preachers, especially the Pope. Truly, the word of God is timeless and priceless and it is lovely to hear it interpreted by gifted preachers around the world adapting it to their culture and their needs. It is universal and also local. And when the word is planted in good soil, it produces fruit a hundredfold. I am reminded of some people I know in Alcoholics Anonymous. They tell me there's a big difference between those who simply try and stop drinking and those who read the big book, their basic textbook and do the 12 steps. Attending meetings, they say, is just the beginning. Doing the program and reading the big book is essential for real recovery to take place. Similarly, I realize that mass is only the start. If I don't read the word of God and follow it, I will be like the seed fallen on rock or among thorns that eventually withers and dies. Like Jesus, his word is the truth, shows the way and gives life. I don't need anything else. Fruit Can I make reading, reflecting and acting on the word of God a daily habit?